Hello and welcome to the first episode of Let's Talk Daily. It's the 4th of January 2017 and here is your roundup of the latest gaming news. First up, Oasis, a new map for Overwatch, which has been in testing since the middle of November 2016 on the PC public test server, has been released for everybody to play alongside a new trailer for the map which is set in the Middle East. So if you do like to play Overwatch and want some new content, do go and check that out. Microsoft has announced that a brand new red Xbox One controller is going to be launching on the 10th of January. In the US this is exclusive to the Microsoft Store and GameStop, which seems to be the uh, you, the typical way that Microsoft do this. Therefore I would assume that in the UK it will be exclusive to Microsoft Store and also Game. This will become the fourth standard edition controller for the console and currently there isn't a console variant in red available for the typical consumers. Mass Effect has been in the news quite a lot over the past day with Andromeda getting some new gameplay released and also a March release date confirmed for the upcoming title coming to the PS4, Xbox One and PC. So users in the US can check out the game on the 21st of March, 23rd of March in Europe and the 24th of March in the UK. Alongside this, the development team have denied that a Nintendo Switch version is in development and also an Xbox Scorpio uh, enhancement of the title also currently isn't in the works. However, if people voice that they want to have it, they may swing away and kind of like change things and work on a Nintendo Switch port and PS4, uh, sorry, Xbox One Scorpio support. However, a PS4 Pro version is in the works and more technical information will be revealed in January or February, so just before launch. Rhyme, which was previously a PS4 exclusive, has been confirmed for a May release on Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PS4, and also PC. This has been alongside a re-reveal re trailer, which IGN have released as a part of the IGN First feature that they run on their website. We'll leave a link down below to all of the different articles in the descriptions, you guys can check this out. Forza Horizon 3 has had an update on PC which wasn't supposed to go live, causing users to have to re-download the game from scratch, the whole game which is 54 gigabytes. so make sure that you do cancel that because it does also corrupt your save file as it's a developer version of the game. One of the pros in some ways of this is that we now have access and can at least see the DLC content which is coming up in the game, but it might take you over your data caps if you do install this update, so do be careful and make sure that it doesn't re-download the full game. Rihanna Pratchett, the lead writer for the Tomb Raider franchise since the 2013 reboot, has left the franchise in the studio and won't be working on them anymore. She was the mind behind the whole reboot and the Rise of the Tomb Raider story, which is probably one of the highest rated Tomb Raider games released yet. So it's quite a shame that she's left the uh Crystal Dynamic Studio, however, I am sure that she will be working in the gaming industry still. She hasn't, at this moment in time, revealed any of her future projects. Now, Super Mario Run has been fairly popular, especially after the rise of Pokemon Go last year. This kind of game, overall, has been pretty popular. Now, Super Mario Run, you would have expected to have generated quite a bit of revenue. It's had 90 million downloads. Now, 
the surprising statistics in this is that it's only generated 3 million US dollars of revenue, which means that only 3 million people have played the game. Paid for the game, sorry. So that's quite shocking figures for such a popular title. It'll be interesting to see what happens over the next few months, especially of an Android release element. Cuphead, a title which is in development and published by Microsoft, is currently due for a middle of 2017 release. Today, the development studio confirmed it's going to be releasing on PC, Xbox One, and also Steam. So you'll be able to access that on any of your platforms. I believe it's also having Xbox Play Anywhere support. However, I'm not 100% sure if that is still a thing with uh, Cuphead. So do stay tuned for that. We haven't been given an exact release date just yet. So do take it with a pinch of salt. Injustice 2 did have a leak release date of the 28th of March. However, this has been denied by the creator of the game. So if you have heard the 28th of March release date for Injustice 2, don't get your hopes up. It's not the 28th of March, which is a shame. But it will be interesting to see what does happen with that. South Park... the s- s- the South Park, the South But Whole, is going to be coming soon. We don't know when. A release date has been leaked on the Xbox Rewards website. However, it hasn't been confirmed by Ubisoft just yet. So we can't confirm or deny that. It was towards the end of March. It could have been a placeholder for this quarter. We currently don't know. So... If we do hear any more information about the South Park uh, release date, we will keep you up to date. That game was delayed from uh, towards the end of last year. So it will be interesting to see if that does launch in March. It will be pretty cool if it does. We'll keep you up to date. Now, over in San Francisco, there is a conference currently taking place sorry, Las Vegas, uh, called CES. NVIDIA has revealed that the GTX 1050 and 1050 Ti graphics cards are going to be making their way into gaming laptops towards the start of this year, which is a pretty cool thing. It means you get some decent performance on a laptop, which NVIDIA are predicting will be starting at roundabouts 700 US dollars, which is a reasonable price for a laptop with the power of a GTX 1050. It's not the most powerful laptop that you could get for gaming, but it will be suffice for most major titles today. One last story for you guys today, the Assembly, a game which was available for virtual reality devices uh, last year, is going to be coming to the Xbox One on Friday the 20th of January. Now this was predominantly designed for VR platforms, so Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, and also PlayStation VR. Those were all available um, uh, on PlayStation VR last year, so it will be awesome to see it coming over to the Xbox One later on this month thank you for listening to this episode of let's talk daily we're still working on the format of this and the way that works so if you guys do have any feedback about how we can improve the show what you want featured what you don't want featured do leave it down below in the comments section if you're watching on youtube or let us know on Twitter or our Discord server. If you do want to support us, you can. There's a link to our Patreon, which you can subscribe to as well, which will be featured in the description. If you want to support us, you can. It's not compulsory, but it'd be greatly appreciated if you do do that. That's a roundup for today's news. It's the 4th of January, 2017. 
and we'll be seeing you in the next episode of Let's Talk Daily tomorrow. Thank you and goodbye. And goodbye.